That's cannot why. stand in front of that man. Can't play with that dude, that man. That power is different. It's extraordinary. Cole, oh, round three. Oh. This is a serious light heavyweight on the rise. So a productive first round for Andreas Mikhailidis, who seemed exhausted on the stool yep. after round one. We're trying right, to figure two, out what fight, caused John. that extreme bruising on his left cheek. And we'll see if the uh, production truck can isolate that. But it's a nasty welt on his left cheek. And John, honestly, that's what I was speaking to with all the clinch and the grab. Oh! That dude's made out of mahogany. <laughs> you touch him, he feels like wood. He barely he hits so hard. <laughs> Effortless though, Joe. He just I'm telling you, that's what this guy does to everybody. He does that to world-class kickboxers. It's like he's built different or something. He hits them with short shots and they go flying. This is what this man has been doing his entire kickboxing career. And there's the embrace from the newly minted UFC light heavyweight champion Glover Teixeira. The power pack in Alex Pereira. It's a different kind of power, man. Oh, oh I mean, my God. He just starches people and so calm about it. He tried to walk off, but Big Dan made Mihalidis take some extra punishment oh that maybe goodness. he didn't need to take. When Alex Pereira connects, most people go night night. And he's been used to doing this with big gloves on. Oh my God. When you get when you get caught with a knee by this guy or a kick. Now, but now he gets to use elbows as well, which he couldn't use in glory. Ferocious man. Roundtree Jr., a natural striker. Going to be interesting to see how early he shoots tonight. Landed the right hand there. Yeah, Roundtree's throwing some heat. But staying in the pocket against a guy like Gokan Saki, just turning this into a kickboxing fight is very dangerous. Well, His best bet would be to get these exchanges going and then set up a takedown. I agree with you, Joe. And I think that really it's just a matter of time. That's the problem when you do straight stand up. Like, oh, oh, he's got him. Oh, big left hand. Oh. And that's it. He looks hurt, guys. Hello, that's it. As we were saying, Joe, he's got the great stuff on Unbelievable. And that's the problem with four ounce gloves. Anybody can get knocked out. Unbelievable. Silenced everybody. A Beautiful job. A in Vegas tonight, Roundtree Jr. Stops Gokan Saki in round one. And Gokan is trying to stand up and saying he's okay, but he's on rubber legs. That was intense. Wow, Khalil Roundtree Jr. shutting up everybody, including us. What else are you gonna say? I mean, you're saying Perfect. if you stand up with this guy, you're gonna get hurt. He fires a left hand down the middle with four ounce gloves and says, I heard him. <laughs> Incredible. Awesome. That is a giant, giant victory for Khalil Roundtree Jr. The way he did it, look at this here. Boom, straight down the middle, perfectly placed left hand. And then drops the hammers on him until the fight is stopped. And how you see him at the end of the fight, he tried to get back up, but he's on rubber legs. Absolutely perfect stoppage. Khalil Roundtree Jr. just shocked the world. He just knocked out one of the best kickboxers alive today. Period. Of all time. One of the best of all time. He just knocked him out. Both guys stand very straight up. Yes. And I think that is why a level change or a shot on Pajeda would be good because he's... Oh! oh! That's, That's what I'm talking about. That's it. That's, That's what I'm talking about. That's it. That's it. That's why. You That's cannot why. stand in front of that man. Can't play with that dude, that man. That power is different. It's extraordinary. You can't play with this dude, man. Coming hey. to a top five near you shortly, uh, and perhaps the next middleweight title challenger, Alex uh, Pereira. Uh, People think they get it, but this again. guy does that to the best kickboxers on planet Earth. That left hook was nasty. And he that's his that signature chamber. technique. Bang, the thing about him is he's got that nuclear option. You cannot make a mistake. And Sean Strickland decided he was going to stand right in front of him. Look at the beauty in this mm. hook. I mean, it's perfect. That's perfect. He just leans in, and he gets you thinking that you're all right Look, standing jump. in front of him, oh, and jump. then just torques that right on the chin. Guys, bring that back one more time. Watch Pajeda when he circles. Watch how Pajeda just sets his level. Watch that level change, guys, with his feet set. Look at him. Level change, 
Spring it to the left hook. Boom. That's nasty. I mean, that I is mean, the same <laughs> hook he knocked out Adesanya with. Dude, he hit him, and hey, Strickland's done at this point. And then look at the follow-up. Oh, the my accuracy, goodness. The accuracy, the look at IQ this. of look his at Joe. striking. I love that, Joe. He almost oh. propels himself into the shot. He's moving left, moving left. Settle, left hook. It's Beautiful. over. I mean, we talked about it very shortly before that you cannot play this game with this guy. Right. Maybe grab him. Maybe try to wrestle him a little bit. Look at what happens. <laughs> I don't make those decisions, obviously, but I would love to. Well, it's an hour flight from San Jose. But there is a crowd, there is oh! an atmosphere, but we've also got a smaller cage in the apex as well. And oh, man, that's big for Khalil because he's finding... Khalil is going off right now. This. He's closing the pressure, closing the gap, and applying pressure. Look at this! Oh! Wow! He's hurt! Modesta's look is terrified. Khalil has put so much pressure on him to start this fight. I mean, look at this. Oh! Khalil is... Look at his back. Look at how big Khalil looks back up at 205. So that's a nice job by Modestus, but it doesn't gotta matter stop. when you He's get, gotta get stop. power bombs thrown back. You can't oh. just throw one job. Bro. He's got to find a way to make Roundtree respect him a little bit. Ooh, that was a heavy low kick. Oh, oh. Is that? Ooh. that's it. Wow. I have never Khalil seen nothing like that. Tree Jr. Eric Anders knows what it feels like. Oh, my goodness. TKO due to the leg kicks. Yeah, I know. That's one of those techniques. Like the side kick. Side the kick team, to the knee. To the yeah. knee, the oblique kick that Jones used to use Jones would lot. use it. Remember how bad Mad Rampage was when he would do yeah, it? Yeah. You got to lift your leg when they throw that. Did his leg break? I, I don't know. Something definitely tweaks, though, because I've seen people in the gym scream like that. That's and, usually and, banned in practice. You can't even do it in practice. Well, let's take a look. He goes to kick, I thought, oh. oh. Did, it break? Did it break, Mike? Well, it bent the wrong way. It didn't break? The knee doesn't, it, it, it bent the way a knee Inside. is not supposed to bend. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way, just so you know, DC's not looking at the screen because right. he can't <laughs> bear to do it. Yeah, not the worst visual you've ever it's seen. It's not bad. The knee it's not that bad. looks no. to be okay. compromised. But let's We're going to show it to you in real time. <laughs> oh, stop! And wow. being all over it. Oh, my goodness. And oh. <laughs> Padena's had his most success for the body tonight. Oh! oh. The last time in the third round, he did it again. He Every time he hit Adesanya, Adesanya was uncomfortable. It's when he got to the point where he knew he could empty the tank. The power this guy. The power. Preposterous power. Pandemonium at Madison Square Garden. Disappointment for Adesanya. A new world champion. Bro, in four fights. In four fights. In is four UFC record? fights. Is well, that a Izzy, Izzy might have, Izzy was very close. Because the year and he was the champion, our interim. This wow. fight replay is brought to you by Sweet Sweat. Check out their website, sportsresearch.com. So Izzy's against the cage. He pops him with the jab, the oh, right, the right hand. Yeah, it was the right hand. It stung him a little bit. Oh, and then the, the uppercut. uppercut. The uppercut stung him. Oh, That's the left that hook. one, the left hook one. again. And then another one. Oh, and then that my right goodness. hand. He's in big trouble there. And then again. Oh, I mean, he was hurt bad. You could have stopped this a long time ago. Mark Goddard gave him a ton of time. He gave him all the time, but look, he's not even looking. Oh, my goodness. Adesanya, oh my though, goodness. with an immediate protest. Yeah, I, I mean, he's a champion. I can see yeah. why oh he's my protesting. Goodness. Joe, look how man. short that hook is. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at how short that left hook that is. That power is beautiful. This dude is crazy. Look, there's no doubt he was in deep, deep trouble. Could you make the argument that you should put the champ out? Maybe. Oh, my goodness. But the way he's moving, it looked like he was gone.
Look at Glover. Look at Glover. Oh, my goodness. And for Nelly Feliz and Plinio Cruz, Alex Pereira's right-hand man. April 9th in Jacksonville, Florida. UFC 273 serves up two title fights. Alexander Volkanovsky defends against the Korean zombie at featherweight, Aljamain Sterling, Pyotr Jan. They rematch and unify the bantamweight belt. Oh! Roundtree sits down Robertson to open the second round. Robertson is back to his feet somehow. Roundtree is swarming here. Look out for the right leg. Was locked up for the moment. Oh, man, kick to the body. Wow, Khalil just goes Roundtree folds him. That'll do it. Khalil Roundtree was ruthless. And it equals a second round knockout. Man, he went after him like they, he owed him money and this was a street fight the way he just finished that. Robertson still hurt. Absolutely that was legal. That was a kick vicious. to the body. Kick to the body while he was down. You don't see it often. Okay. Khalil Roundtree was support in the building Woo. as a Las Vegas native and he gets it done. All right, let's see what it starts with here. A mean right hook there from Roundtree. Follows it up, and you saw Robertson try to land some things, but I want to take a listen to this body kick. Oh. Wow. Absolutely vicious. Vicious is, is definitely the word for that. Oh. He tried to. And then he tried, he tried to push like kick him on the way up, him. too. Stop. Please, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Big early knockdown for Peloton. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a nice And still. Oh, Alex Peloton. Pereira maintains the throw. My this goodness. Dude. My goodness. My goodness. This guy right here. My goodness. Wow. What a killer. He just gave him no pause. I'm okay. Ten seconds later, he literally pushed him aside. Like, don't touch me. Don't stop this. I'm killing this dude. Oh, my God. But you saw it. He lost respect with Jamal, so he started to really press. My God. Look at this. Oh, they're giving Roman him just gave him his black belt. See, I never understand this guy. I don't get it either. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Who cares? Give it to him. Maybe he's going to give it to him anyway, but... He's the every belt champion. Yeah, he's whatever the point, hell right? he I mean, needs. This dude just knocked out Jamal Hill in the first round. And he made it look easy. You could see, though, Joe, when he lost respect for the power coming back in his direction. Yes. He lost respect. Because he got more aggressive. He, not just for the power, but the skill level. The skill yes. level was very you different. You could see it. You could see when he... When he said, okay, I'm gonna go get him. All that, the awkward movement just doesn't work when you're dealing with a guy who's so good at kickboxing. Let's see it again here. So no. he caught it on the nuts. Herb Stop. says, Stop. he's like, no, 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 get out of here. And he just goes, it's a straight right? Oh no, it's a left hook. Left hook again. Boom, boom. That, it must be jarring the power that he hits you with. Look at that. Oh, his look at eyes, eyes roll back. back. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he broke Francis Ngannou's record by a significant amount in the power cube punch. Oh, he my had goodness. 190. 190,000 in the, in the power cube punch. Well, and he's not even throwing full throttle. It's location, <laughs> it's technique. This dude, man. John, how running out of superlatives. John, he's knocking people out when he's not even hitting them clean. That one. He hits Jamal, right? Can we run that back one more time, guys? He hits Jamal. Sure, it lands, right? But it's not like his whole fist is making contact. Right. That right hand that Max Holloway landed made complete contact with Justin Gaethje's yeah. face. Alex Pereira. I mean, he's like shovel, hook, uppercut this, and he knocks your eyes in the back of your head. It's unbelievable the power that this man possesses. Yeah, Ooh, counter right for Roundtree again, nearly got oh! Oh! Big left. Dawkins goes down. Roundtree is landing some big round and pound. Khalil Roundtree all in indeed. This is a serious light heavyweight on the rise in the wow. form of Khalil Roundtree. Four straight in the win column.
It's the, it, it, I mean, Left the, the explosive power that he possesses. Yeah. He was patient. He waited for that Time. shot. And then a beautiful left hand. And he's talking to us now. In Southpaw conventional, you lead with the power hand. That's exactly what he did. Right here, you see Roundtree. Dawkins approaches. He hits him with the counter. Now watch as he gets back to range. He just goes straight left. Boom. I mean, that didn't even land clean, Paul. He landed, but watch this. Watch this straight left. It's almost like he hits Dawkins on the side of the head. I can't believe that. It didn't. Oh, oh yeah, it landed. Man. My bad. Oh, my the goodness. other angle, it didn't look like it landed. That one landed clean. Yeah, that, and it that put hurt. him out nasty. The problem with the power of Pereira is Yuri can't have that same sort of reckless style because the consequences are too great. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem, right? right? You cannot make a mistake because when you do, he hurts you too bad. He's already hurt that leg very bad. Now, here's the difference. How discouraging is this for Prohaska considering he won the first round last oh! night? Oh! Huge knockdown right on the cut of oh. round one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's wobbly. He's real wobbly. Here it is. Oh, left hook. I mean, it's his best shot. It's his best shot. Yuri was hurt bad. He was hurt real bad. Yuri forgot that the bell round had already rang. He's telling him to come grapple him. But that's what he would. Let's take a listen to it in real time. <laughs> and that's what was making Yuri hesitant in that first round, the consequences. All right, here we go, round two. We will see the extent to which Prohaska has recovered. Something special. He just popped his toe back in place. Yeah. Well, he fought <laughs> against Jamal Hill with a broken toe. I mean, this dude is something special. And you know, he's been talking about going up to heavyweight. I say, let him go. Let's see. Let's. He hurt his toe apparently. I guess he did it on that high kick. Let's take a look at. Here it is. I mean, switch, switch kick. Bam. Nasty. Yup. He hurt his toe on Yuri's head. Stop the fight. Right. It's over, man. Right. He's not defending himself. Switch kick. And he didn't even Crazy. catch him clean. Well, Caught he, him with his foot. He broke his toe, I think. Look, he's, he's adjusting his toe now. His toe's really jacked up. He's standing over there walking on his toe and, and adjusting it. Oh. He might have hurt himself. I mean, that's crazy. What a head kick. I mean, this guy is just something special. You know what's crazy? He's finishing Yuri Prohaska who finishes everybody else. Yeah, and he's finishing them easy. Like, Yuri didn't even threaten him in that fight. There was no moment in that fight where he had him rocked. In the first fight, he, he had his moments, but Alex adjusted, and Yuri still had to deal with that power. That power is just something out of this world. It's so different than anybody else's. All the little nuances, the, the mistakes that you can make, you can get hit a little bit and roll with it. You can't do any of that with that guy. No. You cannot make any mistakes. Stop the fight, man. Woo! <laughs> you just lost for words. But this is, like, I'm so used to it. Look at me, I'm not even screaming. I'm Bro. almost like I'm expecting that when that guy fights. I hear he's fixing his toe afterwards. Look, his toe's jacked. I mean, he bounced oh, it off of his head. And the right foot, which I believe was the connecting foot, if I'm not mistaken, that right big toe is all busted up. What a bomb between Alex Pereira and his boys. And eight UFC wins in a span of 32 months. God, I can't wait till next week. We got 
utter violence in front of us here in our third and final round of the co-main event. Strict instructions from both corners. Let's see who can execute here in the final five. Yeah, and you can hear Mark Montoya in the corner too. He talked about that right hand counter of Khalil and how once it misses, that is when Anthony has to throw multiples. He's got to throw more than one punch. Oh, 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 oh. Can't find his feet. My goodness. And he stopped oh, it. Wow. Wow. Just wow from Khalil Roundtree Jr. Five straight is the winning streak. This man is only up. Scary, scary dude. An incredible win streak, but there is no doubt that that is the biggest win of Khalil Roundtree's career. The biggest name by far, and in that manner, what a, what a win. Well, I mean, what a win, and to do it in the third round, especially in a fight where your opponent tells you they're gonna break you, right? They're gonna outlast you, they're gonna pressure you. Let's take a look here. Khalil sitting back, look at this. Oh. All right, right uppercut, left hook, and it just takes the equilibrium completely away from Anthony Smith. Khalil being smart, doesn't want to have to give any more damage than necessary. One more look here. Fate, look oh. at how he's, yeah. look how he's soft punching too, waiting so that he can open up with that counter. Let's take a, a real time look at the speed and the work of Khalil Roundtree. Oh. Oh. 